Hey, it's been a while since I went through the uh, palatial collection that is the bedroom museum of my diecasts. Starting off on the bottom here, I've got all of my Arca cars, which I guess technically is probably the largest collection anybody has, considering I made most of these. Uh, yeah, I, I doubt anybody's going to beat this. I'll swap this out since it's the Daytona track uh, after the race. I'll swap it out for the Xfinity cars or something. Up. And nothing else really is in any kind of order or pattern whatsoever. Just pretty much stacked where I have room. Except now I do have room with my big Pocono display. I can really fit a lot of cars on there. Everything else before was getting you know, smashed in tight like this. So I'm glad I finally have some more space. Up top here. Uh, the lighting's kind of weird. And keep going up. So now with this new uh, display system I have, I can get some wider shelves here and put some of my 124ths up there. There's my two end finger trucks. And over here, big old displays. There's little, well, there's this one which uh, is sinking. I think i got to put a support in there. Up here, some of this is still uh, you know, all the BK cars together from my big uh, tournament that I was doing. A lot of older stuff up here. Up in the display. And way up top here. And on another wall I've got all of my 1990s cars. I think these are all from the 90s. Old shot glass display turned on its side. And yep. no order here. Just a couple more I didn't have room for. I guess I could put these on the Pocono shelf now. And then the rest of my 124th scale cars, uh, they're usually up on a wall, but I'm taking them down because i got to dust them anyway, so I'm just spreading them out on my bed here. I made the majority of these, didn't make the Briscoe truck. But the rest are you know, the rare ones that I actually hang on to. I build so many of these, but they cost so much to make, I don't really want to hang on to too many myself. Well, yeah, we're doing alright here.